Exercise Guidelines Please understand what I'm going to explain to you about exercise. Countless people would be alive if they only understood this. Exercising properly can significantly enhance all the effects of training with a Frolov device. On the other hand, if you don't exercise correctly, it can hinder your progress. In the ideal situation, we would all be in great shape. We could run indefinitely using our aerobic system while we're belly breathing. And then for short periods of time, we might have to run up a hill and do something at high intensity, in which case we're chest breathing, producing acid. All of those things would occur for short periods of time. And then once we get to the top of the hill, we could resume our low intensity jogging. Our bodies would recover. And when done regularly, this type of activity would strengthen you. Your oxygen system would get strengthened by training and your anaerobic system would be strengthened. But in the real world, most of us suffer from this pattern that's related to anaerobic dominance. There are a lot of reasons for this pattern. Some I mentioned before, worry, poor nutrition, poor general conditioning. And if you think about the average American's schedule, we are very inactive most of the time, either in cars or sitting at a desk. But then we want to get in shape, so we go to the gym for a half an hour. But because this pattern that we have developed of anaerobic dominance, as soon as we try to train our aerobic system, our anaerobic system is easily kicking in. And when our anaerobic system dominates, we get all the effects of an anaerobic system, which is a lot of acid and a lot of toxins. But most of us, we think, oh my gosh, we have to exercise to lose the weight. So we further the cycle. We try to work even harder. If, while doing your training, you're exhaling less than 30 seconds, your oxygen system isn't even that strong at rest in a relaxed environment, let alone while you're exercising. The lower your exhale time is, the worse your aerobic system is. So what are we going to do about this anaerobic dominance in terms of exercise? It's actually very simple. Suppose you are in such bad shape you can barely make it out of the chair and into the kitchen. If that's you, you are in a very vulnerable situation because every time you go to the kitchen you're training your anaerobic system. For you it's virtually impossible to train your aerobic system which means your anaerobic system will keep being stronger and you'll keep producing more and more acid and at some point you won't be able to tolerate all the acid. For you, the breathing training is by far the most important. Hopefully, if you're exhaling 8 or 10 seconds, you can get up to 15 or 20 seconds in a period of a year and at that point, hopefully, you can get at least on your walker and walk around the house without it being a big struggle. Now let's take the average person who can walk indefinitely. Jogging is probably a little bit of a chore. For you, there's good news. You don't have to torture yourself anymore. What you really want to do to train your aerobic system is look for times throughout the day that you can exercise. But when I mean exercise, I don't mean what you're probably thinking of as exercise. I mean something that you can do that you feel like you could do indefinitely while you're smiling but something that's a little bit more than your normal activity. And you are going to try to fit that into your regular schedule. But one example could be simply adding walking within a certain radius of your house. You'll just walk to where you have to go. And assuming that that's enjoyable, isn't a lot of hard work, doesn't make you real tired afterwards, that might be the right level. For another person, walking might be so easy, it really doesn't do anything. So the next step would be something like walk, jog, walk, jog. So you're going to walk maybe a minute, jog maybe 30 seconds, walk maybe a minute. The key is that while you're jogging, you don't let yourself get uncomfortable. As soon as it becomes a chore, you just stop and walk for a while. Hopefully you can progress to where you're jogging 30 seconds and then 40 seconds, but this is basically the idea. Think of just your normal day, how you can fit it in. 
Training your aerobic system perfectly isn't possible if you're exhaling less than 30 seconds. Once you get up around 30 to 40 seconds, exercise is going to become much more relevant and the Frolaut device is going to become less relevant. Are you saying I shouldn't go to the gym? No, I'm not saying to avoid the gym. I think the gym is great. The gym is just a location. I'm speaking about how to train. So if you do go to the gym, I would suggest anytime you're doing weight training, that's anaerobic. And that's great. And anytime you're training longer, more than several minutes, you need to be training at low intensity. So for instance, if you're doing the stair climber, your perceived exertion should be minimal. It should be real easy. You should feel like you can go indefinitely on any exercise in the gym that you're doing for several minutes. On the other hand, the weights, you can do it at, you can max out. It's fine. If I stop training so hard, won't I get weaker? Training your aerobic system doesn't make you weaker. In fact, training your aerobic system makes your aerobic system stronger. And when your aerobic system is stronger, you can do the same amount of work that you could before, but now you can do it much longer. What makes you weaker is when you stop training your anaerobic system, and I don't advise you to do that. I feel exhausted if I walk 100 feet. How should I train? For you, walking 100 feet is an anaerobic exercise. You need to limit the amount of time you walk. Try to make sure you walk less than a minute at a time, if it's that exhausting, and you can do it several times throughout the day, but that will be your anaerobic training. But you really need to train your aerobic system, and to train your aerobic system, you need to train with the Frolov breathing device. This is especially true for you, because it's very difficult for you to train your aerobic system any other way.